Okay, let's have a closer look now at the details of the Denali jacket. The Denali jacket is an absolutely superb, lightweight uh, mountaineering, high altitude mountaineering jacket, and it's for fast and light expeditions, whether it's very high altitude mountaineering or fast polar expeditions. This one, one of these was used by Lou Rudd when he went solo across Antarctica. And uh, he, Lou, when, he, when we looked at the design of this, Lou was asking for the lightest possible piece of kit. Not too hot actually, not too warm for fast expeditions, but incredibly light. That was his first, that was his first request actually. So we chose the Denali jacket for his, for his solo crossing of Antarctica. Now, um, the jacket is rated at minus 38 degrees C and the medium weighs about 725 grams, so it's exceptionally light, a really lightweight piece of equipment. And of course, all the details of this jacket have been developed for that minimum weight. And of course, when you get minimum weight with down clothing, you also get the smallest possible pack size. We always start with the stuff sack because a lot of this equipment is going to be carried longer than it's actually worn. So it's very important how small can we make it and how light can we make it. But at minus 38 degrees C, it's it's really ideal for fast high altitude Himalayan expeditions. Let's have a look through the features. It is of course a K series jacket. It's filled with 1000 Philpar down. Now 1000 Philpar down is the highest quality down in the world and that allows us to get the highest loft for a given weight of down. So it really has a major impact on us being able to make lightweight equipment. It's filled with 1000 fill power down and that is pure goose down, 100% pure goose down and it's natural down. It's not a down, it's not a low grade down that's been chemically enhanced to alter its performance. It's very, very high quality natural down. And why do we do that? We do that because it gives us the lightest possible equipment we can design and it also gives us longevity in our in our equipment. It should last for years, the down won't uh, deteriorate, it, the, 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 the fill power won't change, that, that fill power will be good for years and years and years as long as the equipment is looked after carefully. When it's washed it's dried fully, after use it's dried fully and it's stored correctly. So we're using these very very high-end, very high quality downs. The outer fabric is Ultra Shell. Now Ultra Shell is a proofed fabric. It's got a PU coating on the underside and that gives it uh, a quite a high hydrostatic head and, it's, and it maintains breathability. That's very useful. At minus 38 it's unlikely that you're going to get wet rainy conditions of course. It's too cold but there's still potential for you to cause trouble if you, uh, if you spill your cup of coffee on your on your gear or a cup of tea or your fluids on on your gear equally if you were if you did use snow hole if you were using a snow hole when you cook inside the snow hole the, the roof drips so there's a chance for gear to get wet so we've got a very high quality proofed fabric to protect the down the inner fabric of course is uh, 10x that's a very lightweight tendenia fabric actually a very lightweight fabric it's downproof windproof of course and breathable but it's very very lightweight and it's soft so it's it, it, it's perfect for the inside of a, a, a garment it's perfect for the inside of a sleeping bag as well because it allows the down to loft fully and it drapes very well around your body that's the way down works it it, it it lofts around you and cl and fits closely to you and traps that air and holds that air right next to your skin so this fabric's perfect for 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 allowing the down to loft and for the down to drape around you let's have a look at the features it is of course a full length expedition jacket i'll hold it up a little bit it goes down below the hips and it's got a drop tail hem so it goes well down, covers your backside and really stops any cold air getting in there. The hem there has an adjustable cord, cord lock so it can be cinched in to stop cold air getting in. Let's just go straight to the cuffs for the same reason, the, the subject of keeping cold air 
out and the warm air in. The cuffs are locked down with Velcro cuff tabs. That's so they can be cinched in very close around you your wrist if you want to put your hands inside a mitt, if you want the cuff to go inside the mitt, or they can be fitted over the top of a mitt and, and locked down over the top of the mitt. Let's just go straight to the collar as well, because again, the collar, it's very important in the design to look at how to keep cold air out. And the collar is a down-filled collar, it's a high collar, and it's fleece lined so it can be really snug around your around your uh, neck and keep out the cold now let's have a look at the features we've got four pockets on this garment we've got two low down at waist level and those are hand warmer pockets now this garment is a box wall structure it's a box wall construction that's a that's a, a technique we use for making sleeping bags. It keeps the inner and the outer fabrics apart and allows more down to be put in and for it to loft to its maximum potential. Now these, the reason I mention that now is because these are hand warmer pockets. The pocket bag is actually underneath the down, so effectively it goes inside the garment. That gives you access under the down and it's a hand warmer pocket. It's designed to keep your hands warm. That's its primary design. Okay, they're zipped, so if you're going to stash gear inside them, um, it's secure, but it's a hand warmer pocket, a lot of down, and those pockets there, are, it's the box wall construction that allows such a lot of down to go over the top of your hand there. Let's have a look at the pockets on the chest. Now, if you're wearing a harness over your jacket, or a, if you're pulling a polk and the polk straps cover the lower part of your jacket, if those pockets are blocked off, then these pockets are much more accessible. They're ideal actually for, again, the hand warmer pockets and they're angled so you can get your hands easily inside. Your hands go under the down. They are insulated therefore, so they're perfect for GPS or uh, for a compact camera or batteries and so on. So they're a very accessible pocket, always easy to get to and insulated, so very, very useful. Let's have a look inside. We've got a insulated storm baffle over the top of a two-way zip. Okay, so we've got a two-way zip running right to the top and the bottom of the zip can be short, can be opened. And the reason for that is so that you can gain access to a harness underneath. If you've got a harness on, you can access that harness for rope work by shortening the zip and we've got a storm baffle underneath the zip, an insulated baffle draft tube. That is um, short, it's not full length and that's specifically so that it doesn't impede a rope. If you've got a harness on underneath the jacket and the rope is coming through here, you can shorten the zip the baffle isn't in the way and then the velcro cuff the velcro tabs can be closed to seal the jacket you don't need to lift the jacket to get access it can maintain its full length to give you insulation but you can still manage ropes underneath so that's the pockets let's just have a look at inside pockets of course for high altitude mountaineering the inside pockets are very important, particularly for stashing water to stop it freeze. So we've got two pockets inside here. We've got a simple water bottle pocket that will hold a one litre Nalgene bottle and it's elasticated at the top. You pot, your, your bottle can go straight in and be accessed straight out. It's a deep pocket. Equally, on the top of it, additionally on top of that, we've put in a little key hook with a fairly long tab. That is in case you want to put something in there, like a camera. If you wanted to have your camera inside, but have it on a, on a tether, have a, have a piece of cord tethered, that's just a key ring to attach it to that. We've got a security pocket on the other side, so it's a zipped pocket, and again, it's big enough for a water bottle, and a one litre Nalgene would go in there, but of course it's also big enough for anything else that you want to keep in, like mitts, inside there, they would be kept protected and warm and so on. So there's two pockets on the inside. Now the other thing about the inside is it is elasticated around the waist, it's got shearing elastic on the panels. Uh, on the stitch lines. Shearing elastic is a, a, a thread, an elasticated thread, and it just pulls the jacket in around the back 
at waist level, just above your waist, it just pulls it in closer because getting the getting you don't want cold air inside these jackets. You want you want the, the thing to drape and fit you quite closely and that way that maximizes the warmth. It stops any cold air moving around and it holds that air so it can warm up. So that's the inside. That's the outside fabric and the inside fabric and pockets looked at. Let's just have a look at the hood. Now this hood is an expedition size hood. It's a large helmet hood. It's got um, a Velcro front closure so it can be locked around around your, your chin and so on and really protective. It's got adjustable cord around the face and it's got a wired peak. It's got a stiffened peak and a wired peak. It's a large helmet so it can fit over the top of a helmet. It can be cinched even further. If you don't have a helmet it can obviously be reduced and it's got a volume reducer on the back just to reduce the volume. So it's fully adjustable and easily managed on the mountain. Very often when we're mountaineering the wind is coming from the wrong place isn't it and you need to cinch down one side of a hood but keep the other side open to allow some air in and to keep your visibility managed and so on. So it's a full-size expedition hood. It's downfilled of course and it's box wall construction so very very warm. Now this hood is a zip-on hood or a zip-off hood. It's attached to the collar stand at the back and that can be removed. So if you don't want the hood, if you are working with a camera and so on, a hood might sort of simply get in the way. If you don't want a hood on your expedition you can zip it and take it off. But most people do take the hoods because they're a real protective area to keep keep you warm. If the if the weather's bad, if you get into high winds, the hood is very, very protective. So most people keep it. As I say, can be removed if you don't want it. Okay, so that is a quick look at the Denali jacket, a high altitude piece of equipment. Unbelievably light. It's got an incredible weight. 725 grams for the medium so it is remarkably lightweight and warm enough for 8,000 meter peaks and for fast polar travel. Okay 